All right, I'm going to go ahead and create this part now. Uh, I'll just start from scratch, create a new part. Uh, the local axis is at 5, 5, and 3. I know that you guys already know how to change all this stuff in the tree, so change accordingly. And let's go work on that local axis by creating a point. Jeez, I already forgot the coordinates. 5, 5, and 3. So I'll go to point, it defaults to coordinates, 5, come on, 5, and 3, and on that point, I'll make an axis system. Select OK, open your tree, rename this to the local axis. What? That is not right. I'm like a step too fast. Try that again. Axis. This point, I thought I had that highlighted. We'll select OK. Rename your local axis and then hide your absolute axis. Go to View, Tab, ISO View, Fit All In. Okay, now it's just like working on the absolute axis as we started the class. Select here and go to the sketch. Oh God, there, I think it was 10 and five. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, turn my grid back on. Normal to view, normal to view. Zoom out. Now when it comes to circles, I like to just go ahead and work on the axis. So I'm going to click that point, radius of 5, click another point, radius of 2.5. Now, do you know how I kept this on? So bottom line, you just got to create the two circles. Go to standard and exit out of the sketch. It's already fully constrained. I, you should always... And I should do it as a habit too, to show you under sketch analysis, verify it is fully constrained. I have that little pop-up window that says it's constrained. And it's two closed profiles. If they're not closed profiles and they're not fully constrained, you're not doing it right. We'll exit the sketch. And the feature I'm going to use is under the model tab called multi-path. Oh geez, forgot to put the sketch in the right one. Hopefully you guys aren't making that mistake. Now what is the height? I believe it was an inch and then an inch and a half. I don't remember. An inch and then an inch and a half from the bottom. Okay, so when I go to multi-pad, actually before I get into multi-pad, let's turn this off and put the sketch where it belongs so I don't have any issues. Now we'll go to multi-pad. I don't know what's what. It's hard to tell because you got limit one, limit two right on top of each other now. It used to be spread out. Now it's all on top of each other. It's a mess. Let's just try one inch and hit preview and see which one it did. So that one actually has to go an inch and a half up. And number two has to go one inch. I'll hit preview. Select OK. And that's what that first pad looks like. It's short. Is that right? No, I guess that is right. All right, so that was step one, making the plate using multi-path.